Let's look at exercise C. On lines 1 and 2, what we are doing is defining new lists. The way it works is we first put the lists in memory and then make the variables L and L1 refer to them. Any time that you see an object in Python that's written in the code, be it 7 or be it a list like 5, 6, it must first be in memory before it can be assigned to anything. First, let's make sure that the integers 5, 6, and 7 are in memory. They probably are already, but in this memory table, they are not, so let's put them in here. 5, 6, and 7. Now that we have 5, 6, and 7 in memory, we can go on with creating lists. In order to store the big list, the outer list in memory, we first need to store the inner list, 5, 6, in memory. Let's do it now. Here is a free space in memory. 5 is stored at 1000 and 6 is stored at 1040. Now that we have this list stored in cell 1100, we can refer to it. In particular, we can refer to it when we are defining the outer list, which consists of the list 5, 6 and the integer 7. Let's put the new outer list at address 1120. The first element is going to be 1100, the list that we have just defined, and the second is going to be 7, so the thing that's stored at address 1080. Now that we have put the outer list in memory, we are ready to say that L, a global variable, refers to it. That's the last thing that happens on line 1. We say that L refers to address 1120. Now let's switch to line 2. A very similar thing is happening. We first need to define a new list and then we can make L1, a new variable, refer to it. Let's create this new list. Put it in 1140. This new list is this list. We are not creating a new list, we are merely referring to it when we say L at 0. Therefore, in 1140, which L1 will be referring to, we get to just say at 1100. Now that we've created this list, we get to say that L1 refers to the address where it is stored. L refers to the same thing, and L1 refers to 1140. Why wasn't a new list created when we said L0? Well, because there wasn't notation like we saw here where we created a new list which contains 5 and 6. Here we are merely referring to a list whose name has to, happens to be L at 0. There was an outer list that was created, and here you see the square brackets notation with the elements inside that indicates that a new list is being created. Note that after this point, we are not going to be creating new global variables or making existing global variables refer to new things. What we are going to be doing is modifying the contents of lists that are referred to by global variables, among other things. Let's begin. What's L1 at 0? Well, L1 is 1140, L1 at 0 is 1100. 
this list. What's L1 at 0 at 1? Well, it's this list at 1, the second element of this list. We are saying that it should now be referring to 7 rather than whatever it was referring to before. In other words, instead of 1040, they should now say 1080. We are done with line 3. Like we mentioned, no new global variables are created. No global variables are made to refer to new objects. Merely the contents are modified. So this table is going to be the same as the table in the previous time step. What about line 4? Here again we are creating a new list which contains the element 7 which is an integer. Here we have a free space so here we'll create this new list and inside it we'll make a reference to 7 at address 1080. Now that we've created this list, what happens? We are assigning this list to L1 at 0. L1 is 1140. L1 at 0 is this, and we're saying now it should be something new. Now it should be 1160, the new list that we just created. Again, after line 4, the globals refer to the same things. What are the outputs? When you print L, you print the list at address 1120. That's 1100, so this list, 5, 7, and then the element 7. So the first element is the list, 5, 7, and the second element is 7, and all of that is contained in a list. That is L. What about L1? Well, L1 is the list that's stored at address 1140. What's stored at 1140? Well, at 1140, we have a list with a single element, which is itself a list, which contains 7. So this is a list, and its element is the thing at 1160. At 1160, you also have a list that contains 7. Done.